This is Breakfast Central on News Central. Now you can follow us on all socials. We're at News Central TV on Instagram, Facebook, and if you're in and outside Nigeria, feel free to check us out as well. Now let's take a look at what the front pages are saying, the way they are reporting our stories from Africa and beyond. And I think we're starting in West Africa, Nigeria, with the De Daily Trust. Definitely, definitely. We're starting off with the Daily Trust. Uh, but this one, Olucha, I was going to ask you this question. Most definitely, when we heard the issue going on in Ukraine and, of course, uh, Russia, one of our, our, our thoughts uh, definitely went straight to the Nigerians that are there. Uh, every country is also thinking of uh, its citizens that are indeed stuck. And that's exactly what Daily Trust has brought forth uh, for us this morning. It has that big header at the front there saying, 12,000 students, other Nigerians trapped. Yes, we do know that Nigerians uh, who ply their trades in terms of football and business are also stuck in between uh, these countries. Well, we're living in fear, students say. Parents are worried. Federal government arranges special flight operation for evacuation. <clears throat> And that's exactly what uh, is ongoing. Okay, so um, on, on the other side of that story, let's also look at what we have at the top there. Investigations link police, military personnel to terrorism financing, according to El Rufai. <laughs> so we're waiting for more expose on that story, linking security operatives to terrorism. That's one story we will definitely want to unearth. Fuel price hike looms as marketers kick against five million uh, naira shipment charge mm. that's another one electoral act four ministers mda heads to resign over 2023 what's that story all about four ministers mda heads to resign over 2023 you want to go get that i'm not going to leave without talking about what we have on the front page of this paper it uh, uh, says zulum's wonders zulum's wonders now, many have said that he is one governor who has indeed uh, got into power and continues to show that he is doing what he said he will do. 78 doctors' apartments commissioned alongside three other projects by Vice President Yemi Osibajo during his visit to launch 30th edition of the federal government's MSMF clinic in Maiduguri yesterday. And that took place yesterday. So if you want to learn some more about to that story concerning terrorism, you want to learn some more about the Electoral Act and resignation, or about Ukraine and Russia, go pick the Daily Trust. From the Daily Trust, let's take you to Tanzania. Now we're looking at the citizen this morning, and it's reporting a similar scenario. It reads, how Russia-Ukraine war will affect you. That's what it's saying here. Likely impact of the war on Tanzania. Um, you can see them looking at the possible increment of fuel prices and other key imports due to the disruption in supply as western powers ponder on sanctions against russia now you can see the sector they're looking at the key sectors they're looking at tobacco and coffee they're also looking at oil and gas now if they're coming out to say the impact of higher global fuel prices will be felt locally from april that's what it's saying this morning you can get more details the stories on page five that's the major story from the citizen this morning you can also see on the upper left hand side salma is saying focus on performance not gender that's on page four seek alternative sources of funds that's the parastatals is coming out and is talking tough that's on page of three this morning on page two in terms of mining kikwete stresses predictability of policies details of that and more from the citizen all right away from the citizen let's go straight to daily nation in kenya the front page there profit or project <laughs> ruto answers uhuru as well well like i mentioned and i've mentioned that this week the daily nation has been doing an amazing thing uh, ensuring that it captures each and every political personality well profit or project or project or profit which one how did he get here? Well, you can read the story, how he got there and what to expect ahead of the elections. Let's take the one on the left. Kenya banned indefinitely by FIFA over government interference. I'm looking to touch on this story later on when we talk sports, but that's the latest story. Aside from Kenya, you have other countries as well that have equally been banned from football indefinitely because of government interference. Of course, you know it's part of the FIFA rule that government should not interfere in sports. But guess what? They kept on uh, heeding uh, to the other call, not the call from FIFA, but a call that the government should be a part of it. And then they got the long stick or oh, definitely they got the hammer. So that's what I'm going to take 
on the Daily Nation. And to wrap up the newspaper segment this morning, let's look at Newsday from Zimbabwe. The major story here is talking about health workers down tools. That's what it's saying here. Uh, they have the focusing right now on the health sector as it's been headed for paralysis after doctors, uh, radiographers, nurses and other specialists yesterday the by courted a call on call and night duty citing incapacitation now in zimbabwe the teachers are coming out to say you're incapacitated now the health workers are coming out to say they're also incapacitated all at once this is putting a lot of pressure on the government of zimbabwe but there's more story you can see the picture here of a young lady um, it says a, a woman rides a bicycle with a baby strapped on her back this was in Monica Land province recently. Uh, she seems quite determined anyway. She has to get to a final destination. But that's the major story uh, from Newsday. And this one on page 11 talks about UZ deaf students fight stigmatization through film. Details of that from Newsday.